Fake news, fake news. It's all about the fake news these days, isn't it? I made a podcast, and I might start doing that more again. I'll leave that link down below. Not that my videos get seen very much, but um, heck, I have a channel, and I might as well make videos if I feel like it. And um, I have my other channel that I put my music videos on. And I spread my music throughout the internet. Anyway, fake news. Now we have the loser of the 2016 presidential election pretty much leading a crusade against fake news. But that's just what they call it. They call it fake news. Really, they mean information that isn't uh, under the control of large corporations and the major media and, uh, well, the government. Information that maybe they don't, uh, they, <laughs> they being the big media and the government, don't necessarily want us to know about. Thus, it's fake news. And of course, we're told that fake news swung the election. Trump was elected because of fake news. Not because the Democrats went around the country and told us how great the economy was, or because we're at war in something like seven countries at least have been bombing or have a hand in war in seven countries all at once just ever expanding no and these aren't the reasons that you know not because uh, people of every status people who have master's degrees people who have bachelor's degrees people who have high school educations what have you not because they are struggling to survive many of them have uh, jobs that are very uh, minimal, some of them are unemployed, underemployed, whatever. That isn't the reason that the Democrats lost, no. The reason is fake news. I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, really? Come on. Fake news. That's why. And so, let's leave aside the fact, although I can't leave it aside, that the main media that we have in this country is pretty much fake news in itself much of the time. Not always, but much of the time. Especially when they want to promote a war, like the Iraq War, with weapons of mass destruction. Or the list goes on back through time, you know, to the back to the Gulf of Tonkin, back to when the Maine blew up in uh, the harbor, you know, and uh, th this means we had to go to war with uh, Cuba, and then mysteriously, you know, conquer the Philippines all at the same time, pretty much, going back to Teddy Roosevelt and his wonderful great Rough Riders on some hill, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, so it goes on and on, it goes on and on, and um, now they can't control the narrative. So now, they're probably going to roll out, if not censorship, something very near censorship, or at least a giant propaganda campaign before they bring out the censorship, because we're just not behaving out here, out here in the hinterland, you know, anywhere that's not New York City, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, San Francisco, <laughs> everywhere else. Meanwhile, the standard of living falls, and, uh, you know, rich get richer and the poor get poorer, and, and you know the litany. On and on. Fake news.